All right, here we are, day number six. We're almost a week in. So what do we have? Let's see. It is gold stars for a shaker. So I guess we're making a shaker card. Let me gather my things and we'll get started. So here's the little star shaker bits that was in door number six. And I am going to make this a birthday card. Now, when I was first looking at the silver and the gold and the white, I was kind of thinking New Year's, but I really don't need a New Year's card. So then I remembered this set, this which is called Party Time, which has the disco ball and is a birthday. So I'm going to use that, but this was kind of small. It's Party Time. So I'm going to use the It's Your Birthday from the It's Your Birthday set um, from a couple months back. And it's going to be a five by seven card and here's my base and here's my piece of acetate that I've put some painters tape on it so I can keep track of it all right so here's my stamping platform my sticky mat is already in there let's take my paper put it down here so I need All right, so we need the girl, which we'll put a floor under her about here. She needs her disco ball, which I can extend the line on. I will need the It's Your Birthday, which will be on the card here. And then for the background, I think I'll put some of the music notes. The clock. I think I will put it's party time on the card since I'm using the clock. Or maybe it should be this way. Move the clock down. We'll move her down a little bit. Maybe the birthday down a little. Okay, I think like that. So we pick all that up. Move this out of the way so we don't smudge it. And grab my black ink. All right, I think that's good. Put this to the side. Let me grab my black art liner. And these lines are kind of thick, so I'm gonna use my point eight. And I'll draw the ground here. Now let me color this in. All right, so I'm going to use C3 for the gray or silver. I have Y28, which looks very much like gold when you color that. And I may use R29 for a pop of color. So let's see what we have here. Put a piece of paper underneath. I think that looks like gray. Now I'm going to use the Copics. I do have a silver pen, but it's opaque and it would cover over all the lines here in the disco ball. So what I think I may do is after I color it, I will go over it with a sparkle pen.
I'm going to use E15 for her hair. Use E11 for her skin. Now I'm going to trace around her with C1 just to give her a little depth and separation from the back. Just where her shadows would be. Alright, now the ground. Let's see. Now this is a clear glitter pen that I'm just going to go over the disco ball with. Let that's had a chance to dry. And maybe her bow. How about let's put some glitter on her bow. How about that? All right, C1. I'm going to color in the clock just so it's not white. All right, now I want to put some color in the background. I think I'm just going to go over it real quick with a blue. Just to have it not look so stark white. Yeah, that's all we need. And yeah, let's see how much brown is on here. That might be good just to give the floor something. All right, I think that background is done. All right, so what we need to do now, let's put all this away. We'll need this, we'll need our shaker bits. All right, so here is our acetate. All right, so the card front here is cut the five by seven. So I cut this the six by eight. So I have a half an inch all the way around. So I'm going to score this. Let me grab my scoreboard. All right, so I know this is gonna be hard to see. So I'm gonna go a half inch down this way. I'm gonna turn it, go a half inch, turn it again. And this is very thin acetate. Uh, for this, you want the thinnest acetate you can find. All right, so we've gone along. I know, I look like I'm holding up nothing. But I'll show you in a minute. If I have to, I'll take out a piece of paper and cut it so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so kind of like when you make a box, I'm going to cut out these corners. where I have a half an inch on either side here. Let's see, maybe if I put this on a, nope, that doesn't help. All right. So I'm gonna cut each side. So I made this an inch bigger in the front of my card. I scored a half an inch on each side. And where the corners overlapped, I'm cutting out the little square and the corner. All right. So I'm not gonna take my card front. I'm gonna put it in here face down. And I'm gonna make sure this all fits. Let's score this again and give it a better score.
Remember, this is at a half inch all the way around. I just want to give it a really deep score. It'll just be easier to fold that way. There we go. Now it's a lot easier to fold. So now we're going to fold that over. Fold the top one over. We're going to put this in here. Make sure we're folding it correctly. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to take some 1 8 thick foam. This is your regular thickness you would use for a shaker card. And I'm going to put it behind the It's Your Birthday. That's going to be a tight squeeze, but it's on there. All right, so what's going to happen with this is I'm going to put this on the inside, and that's going to help hold this out to make sure the shaker bits have a way to get up and down, make sure they have a little bit of space. So I thought about putting it on the outside, but I'm going to put it on the inside. All right, so now I'm going to get some red liner tape. I'm going to put it on the bottom. On the side. Now you can do this with regular glue. You would just have to give it time to dry. So I'm going to do this for speed. Now I will say I'm down here in Florida and I have a booth at the farmer's market where I sell my cards and I will say you do have to be careful with this glue because um, it will get gooey in the heat. So don't use red this type of adhesive on something that's going to be out in the heat or exposed to heat because it will get gooey. All right, I'll put this on here. I'll turn this over. And I will attach the bottom. And I'm going to attach this side. Now it looks like I missed a little piece there, so I'm going to cut that off. All right. Then we will have this side. Make sure this is going to lay flat, which it will. Okay. And you do want to make sure that your glue or tape is all the way down to the end. All right, now we'll push this down into place. Oop, I just wrinkled that. I wrinkled that terribly. All right, let's pull this off. This is why I like using regular glue. All right. There we go. So now it's time to put in the shaker bits. So let's open this up. That 
see, and this is going to be an all over shaker. So let's go ahead and just pour the whole thing in. Now we will seal up the top. All right, it looks like I have a little piece hanging off here. So let me trim that off. All right, so now with this on here to hold it up, your shaker bits will be free. So now all we have to do is attach it to the front of the card. So we'll just take your favorite glue. And I am going to put some tacky glue along the edge here. Just so I can get a better grip on the acetate. On the edge there. Make sure I'm not putting this on upside down. Put this on the front. And press down. And there you have it. An all over shaker card. And then on the inside, we'll just put whatever we want. Now, I think I probably would maybe stamp some of the notes or even put another um, disco ball on the inside with the happy birthday message. But that is it. All over shakers are that easy. So if you liked it, give me a like. And if you want to see the rest of the calendar, subscribe and you'll get a message every day when I um, post it. And until tomorrow, my friends, stay crafty.